Okay, I'm going to open up a file. That one there. Nice that it remembers the most recently used files. This is a presentation that I put together, or this is the first few slides. I'm not going to give it all of it away, but this is the first few slides of a presentation that I put together uh, recently. And one of the issues you have with not just PowerPoint, but with a lot of things is if you wanted to give um, this presentation to somebody, you could give it to them as a PowerPoint file and they could edit it. You could give it to them as a PowerPoint show file, but you know if they have PowerPoint, they might still be able to edit it. You could create a PDF, but if they've got the appropriate software, they could still edit it. So what they've done here is they've created a new version called the PowerPoint picture presentation. If I go to file and I go to save as, I'm going to save it as a PowerPoint picture presentation. OK, I'll keep the same name and uh, I'll just stick this onto my desktop. Click on save. OK, it tells me that it's saved a copy onto my desktop. Close it down. And just minimise that. So now there it is. Open it up actually opens it up in PowerPoint, but I can't select any of the text. I mean, I couldn't select that text anyway because these were images to start with. But if we go to this one, I can't select the text because it's actually made it into an image. So you can give this away to your heart's content. Yeah, sure, people can amend it, but to amend it, they'd have to actually use the image editing software or some of the uh, editing tools that you've got in PowerPoint. So it's a nice way to protect your um, intellectual property, shall we say. Let's close that one down. OK, next thing is to, to actually try and do a bit of interactivity with you. Uh, a new feature which is called Broadcast Slideshow. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to broadcast your slideshow across the Internet. So I'll actually use the same presentation I used before. So with that presentation open, I'll go to File and I'll go to um, sh Share. I want to go to Share. There's Share. File Share. Under File Share, you've got a number of different ways that you can share your presentation with different services like SkyDrive, which is a Microsoft service, SharePoint, if you've got that. But the one I want to use is Broadcast Slideshow and then Broadcast Slideshow again. What it does is it then asks me to log into the, the service by clicking broad, Start Broadcast. You actually, all you need for this is a Windows Live ID. The people who are watching it don't need a Windows Live ID, but the person who's actually doing the broadcasting needs a Windows Live ID. And it's connecting to the service. To get a Windows Live ID, you can actually just go to Microsoft.com. If we can get this working, then what you'll be able to do is you'll actually be able to watch this presentation um, as I broadcast it. What I will do is I will start slideshow. So the slideshow is actually running. Elaine has pasted that into the, uh, the resources tab. So if any of you want to copy that out of the resources, and paste it into another browser on your own machines, you should be able to see the presentation as I broadcast it. My trusty assistant has done just that and she can see it on her screen, so it is working.